Now I'd like to invite my dear friend Tanya Vasarelli to the stage. Tanya is 12 years old and she lives in Westford, Massachusetts. She goes to Stony Brook Middle School. Tanya loves the outdoors and making. Please welcome my dear, dear friend, Tanya. <clears throat> Hi everyone, my name is Tanya Gasser. Today, I'm going to be speaking about Indian life in America. Before I start, I would like to thank my very, very dear friend, Judy, for her wonderful speech on MCAS versus parks. Can everyone hear me? Yes. As I said before, today I'm going to be talking about Indian life in America. I'm going to be talking about an Indian kid's perspective, why Indians are doing fairly well in America, and also some funny things that us Indians do in America. A kid's perspective. Sky high expectations from everyone. And when I say everyone, I mean everyone. Your teachers, your peers, your neighbors, your friends, and last, but definitely not least, your parents. <clears throat> I mean, you've got to be at least good at brain surgery, if not rocket science. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure you guys have all heard the stories from when our parents were little and how easy we have it here in America. About how they used to get beat in black and blue if they didn't do their homework or how they would, uh, to, how they had to take public transportation just to get to school. But guys, it's hard for a kid to meet these expectations. I, for one, am bad at science, and that, my friends, is sacrilege. <laughs> but there are some good sides to being an Indian kid in America, like how you have huge families, or also when your Indian friends come over and they don't mind sleeping on the floor. Now, why Indians are doing well and fairly well in America. Sundar Pichai, CEO of Google, Satya Nadella, CEO of Microsoft, and Indra Nui, CEO of PepsiCo, are just a few examples of highly successful Indians in America. Can you guys name any others? Others? <laughs> <laughs> the lady in the purple jacket said Paresh was Praise Motiwala is another one. So. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Indian, it did stat show that Indians actually make double of what others make in the U.S. This is attributed to <clears throat> education. Indians who immigrate from India to America are well educated in the fields of science and engineering. This is where they have the most jobs and the least people qualified. Since Indians do so well in America, they want their kids to do the same. So they move to the best school districts so their kids can get the best of what America can offer. Uh, Amy Chua, the controversial author of The Tiger Mom, thinks that Indians do well because of the triple package, a superiority complex, <coughs> insecurity, and impulse control. A superiority complex is a not-so-nice thing to claim, but then again, Indians have it. This is because of close family ties and also from the amount of education they get. And insecure. Because they're in a foreign land. They're insecure about things. This drives them to work harder. And impulse control. When you put bar, <coughs> partying, or buying expensive things, to a halt until things are settled. So basically, they delay gratification. This is why Indians do well in America. Now for some funny things that us Indians do in America. I'm sure you guys can relate to one or many more of these things I'm about to say. Maybe about how the pressure cooker goes off when your American friends are over, which scares the living daylights out of them. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> or how the fire alarm starts blaring in your ears when your mom's making parakas. <laughs> and also the unspoken competition between all bases of your age. That's right. <laughs> and also, when you call your in 
when you call Indian adults auntie or uncle, which is very confusing when you're trying to explain something. Can you guys name any others? You mean other relations or? Other kind of things that us Indians do in America. Uh, repeat words? Like Can you guys name any other funny things that us Indians do in America? When someone land here to say, ask Chi Chi's burger, they don't know what's in the burger. <laughs> The man in the white shirt said, when someone asks for Chi Chi burgers, cheeseburgers, they don't know what's in the burger. <clears throat> Anybody else? Well, my dad calls all his friends sir. <laughs> the girl in the flowered dress said that her dad calls her his friends sir. Trust me, that happens to me too. You're not the only one. Literal translations between your language and English is not always pretty. <laughs> <laughs> the girl in the navy blue dress said that literal trans translations aren't very pretty between Indian and American languages. <clears throat> I know my parents get summertime stress when our skin is getting darker. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for listening to me today. I'm Tanya Bastardi, and today I spoke about Indian life in America. I spoke about a kid's <coughs> perspective, why Indians are doing fairly well in America, and also some funny things that us Indians do in America. But after all this, Ferdi Dilhe Hindustani.